My name is Nancy Glowacki. I am an Army veteran and I currently serve as the Women Veteran Program Manager for the Department of Labor Veterans Employment and Training Service, known as DOL Vets. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about demographics pertaining to women veterans and why these demographics are so important. You may already know that veterans make up 9% of the overall adult population in America. This means that approximately one in every 12 adults is a veteran. There are currently approximately 2 million living women veterans in the United States. Women currently make up approximately 10% of the overall veteran population. That means that one in every 10 veterans is a woman. Comparatively, one in every two adults in the general population is a woman. Veterans make up 16% of the men in America. One in six adult males in this country is a veteran. So, most Americans have had personal interactions with a veteran who was a man. But among women in America, only 1.6% are veterans. This means that only one in every 63 women in this country is a veteran. So in order to meet one woman veteran, you may have to meet 63 women. This is important for us all to remember. While everyone has had personal interaction with a woman, most people have not had personal interaction with a woman veteran. Perhaps this is why even as women veterans get more recognition than ever before as a population, individual women veterans still get forgotten. For those of us who provide veteran services, it is absolutely critical that we ask each and every potential female client, have you ever served in the military? Remember, we may have to ask 63 women before hearing one yes but we must keep on asking. So what does this look like when we combine men and women and veterans and non-veterans? For every 100 adults, one is a woman veteran, eight are male veterans, 40 are male non-veterans, and 51 are women non-veterans. If we look at adults under 35 years old, we see an even greater divide between veterans and non-veterans, particularly for women veterans. Only 2.7% of all 18 to 34 year olds in America are veterans. That's one in 37 adults under 35 years old. Women make up 18% of 18 to 34 year old veterans which means that one in every five veterans under 35 years old is a woman. Comparatively, in the general population of 18 to 34 year olds, one in two people is a woman. Among men, veterans comprise 4.4% of 18 to 34 year olds. One in 23 men under 35 years old is a veteran. Meanwhile, among women 18 to 34 years old, only 1% are veterans, 1%. That means that to meet just one woman under age 35 who has served in the military, you may have to meet 100 women of that age group. Now, how does this look in the overall population? Well, for every 200 18 to 34 year olds, one is a woman veteran, four are male veterans, 96 are male non-veterans, and 99 are women non-veterans. Now let's look at era of service, race and ethnicity, and age differences between male veterans and women veterans. Compared to male veterans, women veterans are over twice as likely to have served in the Gulf War II era, but not the Gulf War I era. Women veterans are more likely than male veterans to have served in the Gulf War I era, but not the Gulf War II era. And women veterans are almost twice as likely as male veterans to have served in both Gulf War I and Gulf War II eras. Meanwhile, 
Male veterans are almost three times as likely as women veterans to have served in the World War II era, the Korean War era, or the Vietnam War era. Looking at race and ethnicity, the majority of veterans are white. However, women veterans are less likely than male veterans to be white. Women veterans are almost twice as likely as male veterans or non-veterans of either gender to be black or African American. Veterans are less likely than non-veterans to be Asian or Hispanic or Latino, and women veterans are more likely than male veterans to be Hispanic or Latino. Looking at age, here is where we see some drastic differences. Women veterans are twice as likely as male veterans to be under 35 years old. This is important to remember because people under 35 years old consistently have higher unemployment rates, a trend that is true for both veterans and non-veterans and among both genders. Half of male veterans are 65 years old or over, compared to 17% of women veterans. But our focus at the Department of Labor is employment. And you may be wondering just how many of those males over 65 years old are still in the workforce. If we look only at veterans who are currently in the civilian labor force, we still see that 20% of male veterans in the workforce are 65 years old or over, compared to 3.8% of women veterans. That's right. Male veterans in the workforce are five times as likely as women veterans in the workforce to be 65 years old or over. So what does workforce or civilian labor force really mean? The workforce, also known as the civilian labor force, includes both people who are currently employed and people who are not currently employed, but who are both available for work and actively seeking work those known as unemployed. Women veterans are more likely than male veterans or women non-veterans to be in the civilian labor force. That leaves us with the term not in the labor force. If a person is no longer actively seeking work, they are considered to be not in the labor force. There are many reasons why a person may not be seeking work. They could be retired, they could be a stay-at-home parent, and they could also desire to work, but have given up on seeking work. This can happen when a job seeker either believes no jobs are available, or believes that they are not qualified and therefore have become discouraged and given up. Women veterans are less likely than male veterans or women non-veterans to not be in the labor force. So, since our focus at the Department of Labor is the workforce, Let's now look at those basic demographics again, but this time focusing only on people in the civilian labor force. One in 15 adults in the civilian labor force is a veteran. You most likely work with or have worked with at least one veteran. One in two adults in the workforce is a woman, but only one in eight veterans in the workforce is a woman. Only one in every 59 women in the workforce is a veteran. Comparatively, one in nine men in the workforce is a veteran. Looking at 100 adults, including both genders and both veterans and non-veterans, we still see that only one is a woman veteran. But there are some differences in those around her. Here we see that six out of 100 adults in the workforce are male veterans. 47 are male non-veterans, and 46 are women non-veterans. Looking at 18 to 34-year-olds in the workforce, veterans comprise only 3%. That means that one in every 34 adults under the age of 35 in the civilian labor force is a veteran. One in six 18 to 34-year-old veterans in the civilian labor force is a woman. Meanwhile, only 1.01% of women under 35 years old in the civilian labor force are veterans. That's 1 in 99. 
Comparatively, 1 in 21 men under the age of 35 in the workforce is a veteran. Looking again at how many male veterans, male non-veterans, and women non-veterans we would see to see just one woman veteran, in 200 adults under 35 years old in the civilian workforce, one would be a woman veteran, five would be male veterans, 102 would be male non-veterans, and 92 would be women non-veterans. I hope these demographics gave you a glimpse of why it is so vital that we refuse to make assumptions about who a veteran is, and that as service providers, we ask each and every person, have you ever served in the military? And that we continue asking, no matter how many no's we may hear from women. Our diligence could make a huge difference to a woman veteran in need of veteran services. It is also vital that women veterans own their service proudly and tell people that they are a veteran as often as they can. Every person you tell about your military service is one person who has now interacted personally with a woman veteran and who is now a little less likely to assume all veterans are men or to assume that the next woman they meet is not a veteran. Thank you for taking the time to view this webinar. Please feel free to download the PowerPoint slides and to use them as you see fit. And as always, please remember that free employment services are available in your local area. Visit veterans.gov to learn more or view the Employment Assistance for Women Veterans webinar, also available at dol.gov slash vets slash women veterans.